try to make sure I hold these today or whatever. This is another video. Um, <laughs> I know y'all probably looked at that title and you were like, hmm, I wonder what this is going to be about. I ain't going to put all my business up out there, you know what I'm saying, and get to explicit details. But I am going to try to be real with y'all. Um, I'm 17. I am a virgin. But I have a freaky personality, and there's no point in me hiding it, you know what I'm saying? I've always been a sexual person. I haven't done any sucking dick, which really with me, I really don't even want to try to do that at all. It's never really interested me in any type of way. Have I ever thought about it? And it even gets, it even, it's even more disgusting to me and degraded. This is my opinion, you know. Don't try to convince me otherwise and stuff. About, you can tell your opinions, but don't try to convince me or... Um, be negative about my opinion, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm just speaking on my terms, this is what my video is about, I'm speaking on my terms, but, uh, basically, um, like I was saying, I've always had a sexual personality, ever since I was 10 year old, 10 years old, got caught by my mama, um, playing with myself, and realized that it felt good touching myself down there. I wasn't a sexual person. I started having full sex when I was 13 or whatever. But I still had enough respect for myself to not go sleeping around or just give up my virginity to just any old body. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I haven't got offers. I mean, there's been situations or one situation where I was in a room with some boy that I liked or whatever. And they tried to, like, push us into a room and stuff. And I'm wondering, like, okay, if I had to kick this nigga in the nuts, so that he will get the hell away from me. He wasn't trying to push up on me, but he was trying to buckle his pants. I'm like, look, I ain't trying to do all this right now. I ain't that type of girl. You got me wrong. I ain't like my other friends or whatever who are not really not, who are not really not even my friends or whatever. I'm like, I'm not like them, you know, if they want to sleep around, that's them, but you're not going to get that from me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there has been like, <sighs> let me get to the point. There have been situations where I have, had the offers, obviously, I mean, not saying obviously like that, but as you can see, like, I'm not a bad looking person, and, and I don't have a bad personality or anything like that, so I have gotten offers or whatever, you know what I'm saying, but I have enough respect for myself not to be sleeping around or sucking dick and everything, which I just told you, I don't even think I'll ever, ever do that, if I do, I won't be doing that spit shit that they be doing in porn, I mean, I was so disturbed, I was like, oh, like, how you gonna slob off somebody's dick and then kiss them, and then, if you're having a threesome, kiss some other bitch, or whatever, that's not STDs spreading around, y'all ain't thinking about that, not galleria, STDs, all that spreading around, please, ugh, and it's like, spit smells nasty when somebody spits on the sidewalk street, let alone trying to slurp off somebody's dick and they're being all over your face and come all over your face, and that's not attractive to me, that's not sexy to me, and it's like, if I ever, if, if I ever did suck dick, I would never, ever, ever do that slurping spit where they got gloves of spin, ugh, but anyway, like I was saying, I've always been a sexual person or whatever, you know what I'm saying, I've never tried to hide that fact. Well, there was a situation um, where the first person that I talked to like that, when I first got into having phone sex, and he introduced me to phone sex, he let me know, like, because I almost thought, like, being a freak was like being a hoe. I had it twisted at the time. And he was like, no, like, it's not like you're sleeping around or sucking people's dicks or whatever like that. You still have respect for yourself not to do that. Therefore, you're not a hoe. You just have the f a freaky personality or whatever, it's two different things, and I've embraced it ever since then, and that was when I was, like, 13, um, but, yeah, so, basically, it's, like, I have a boyfriend now, and I haven't seen him yet, I'm trying to have plans to see him in August if everything goes through, and we've been together for a while, eight months this Sunday, and it's, like, I don't, I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure we're going to have sex, like, we always have phone sex, like I said, like, I mentioned that to y'all, if y'all in a long distance relationship, do that phone sex shit, but, um, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to do something, not the first time I see him, because it's going to be, like, a weekend, but, like, the next couple of times after that, and it's like, I want to, I do want to have sex with the right person, and I think that he is the right person and everything, but it's like, I am afraid, I'm not even going to lie, it's like, I want to have that experience before I get married to that person and have to fuck the same person all the time, but it's like, I am afraid, it's like, I don't know if I'm going to get an STD or gonorrhea, um, 
I don't know if I'm gonna get impregnated the first time I have sex or the condoms slip off or something. He not let me know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Accidents happening, you know what I'm saying? Of course I'm gonna be on birth control. I'm gonna try to see if I can get on birth control. I um eventually. But definitely before I go see him, if I do see him. But I'm going to see if I can try to get on birth control. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, a lot of things can happen. I don't want to get crabs and all this type of stuff. And I definitely don't want to get AIDS. And it does make you scared. I don't see how people, how some people who are sexual like that aren't cautious about it. Don't really think about it that seriously. Because I sure... Leave me alone, BET. <laughs> I, I signed up, like, a minute ago for them to, like, let me know information about BET and when they have the BET Awards. And the BET Awards is today. I'm trying to hurry up so I can catch the pre-show. But, um, yeah, I am afraid. I'm like, should I wait till I get married? I don't want to do that. I do want to have some experience and some tricks or whatever with boyfriends, which I know I will never have sex outside of having a boyfriend. So if y'all try to approach me on that nasty type shit, I'm never going to do that. I've never been tempted to cheat, and I'm pretty sure I never will be damn well tempted to cheat. There's always going to be temptations when you're in a relationship, period, especially if it's long distance, but not to the point where I think that I'm going to cheat. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, i got to hurry up because my time is wasting. But, um, yeah, I'm wondering, like, do should I... Wait till I get married because I don't want to get STD and I don't want to be another black female who is pregnant. Not saying, not trying to like, it's not a positive thing to be uh, a teenager or get pregnant out of wedlock and have a baby daddy. I'm not trying to have a baby daddy. I'm not trying to be anybody's baby mama. I don't have that personality. Um, my morals. Maybe my personality comes off by it because I'm ghetto and I have an attitude or whatever. But my morals, like, I'm not trying to have a baby daddy. I'm not trying to have a baby mama. I'm either trying to have a boyfriend, a fiancé, and a husband. That's all I'm trying to have. And that's all I'm trying to go... That's all I'm going to have sex with, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I am scared. I'm like, I don't want to get pregnant the first time or the first time I have sex or whatever like that. I don't want to get be young and get pregnant. It's bad enough that I dropped out of school. I'm trying to get my GED and everything right now. That's not really a bad thing because at least I know it's important for me to continue my education. But it's like, I'm not trying to be anybody's baby daddy. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to be anybody's baby mama, and I don't want to have a baby daddy and have that type of drama in my life and be another black female added to the people, added to the black women who are pregnant. And I don't want to have an STD, and I don't want to have AIDS and everything like that, and yeast infection and everything. And that does make me afraid, but it's like I am a sexual person. I still haven't had sex yet. I might have sex with the boyfriend that I have now. Um, if further down in the relationship, it could have, it could have happened sooner if he lived here, but he doesn't live here and I haven't seen him yet. So, yeah, like, just give me your opinions, like, uh, on how you feel about, um, on what I should do. Do you think I should wait till I get married, or, of course, you're going to say, use condoms. I know I'm going to use condoms. I don't want to hear that bullshit about, you know, oh, come on, baby, it feels good without a condom. It's like, look, nigga, unless you don't want me to hunt you down for some child support and have me have a child because I am that type of girl that the, them dead old baby mamas gotta be like, nigga, where my child support at? I don't be like that. Unless you don't want me to be on you like that and stuff your ass to, for you to man up and stop acting like a pussy and take care of your responsibilities for the child support or whatever for your child. You know, you put that condom on, nigga. Because <laughs> you don't want to have no crowds. I don't want to get nothing from you or anything like that. I don't want to get pregnant. So I don't want to hear that bullshit about, oh, you know, feels good without a condom. Unless I'm married and I want to have some kids, that's the only time I'm not going to have a condom on. Besides, I'm only going to have a condom and I am going to be using birth control or doing the t-shirt I think it is. I'll look at more information about that. But, yeah, just let me know how you feel about, like, what I should do and everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you think I should wait till I get married, or just any opinions on how you feel about what I'm saying. Because I don't want to have, I'm like, because I do want to have sex, you know what I'm saying? But whatever boyfriend that I have, upcoming or the one now, but I don't want to get pregnant. And I, like I said, like, I am sexual, but, like, I am afraid. Just let me know how I feel about that. I just wanted to put that out there so y'all could get to know a little bit more about me. 
But yeah, my time is up. That's it for now. Peace.